Hey there! Hi guys and girls and welcome back to one of the most exciting daily trading sessions we had so far. Here's what happened. So we are eyeing quite a few opportunities, four to be exact, and at the end of the day we got engaged with just one. But the best part is the other three that we kind of missed lost within the hour, but we missed them on purpose. So stay tuned and check it out how and why we did that. Good morning everybody, it's February the 14th, the Valentine's Day, and I'm back with my pre-market analysis. Uh, yesterday I did not upload the video because it was very very slow day, I didn't get any opportunity. I did record the morning version, but then afternoon when I got home, as I didn't get engaged in, in any any opportunities, and I because the market didn't present the opportunity, I just decided not to wrap up a video and put it out there without any content whatsoever but however today on a valentine's day let's see what the market does what market has in plan i'm eyeing out maybe there would be maybe there will be a uh, opportunity here on a usd cad x to a a to b b to c right there if that's gonna happen then i'm probably gonna trade b to uh, a to x to a, a to b b to c c to d Completion for a bad pattern. This right there didn't touch my 50 fib retracement, so that's it. Uh, Aussie CAD, I have something on the radar here. I did check out the charts just a minute before I started recording, and some people might not see it, some people might not trade it and find it uh, valid, but this is something that I'm not gonna trade. Gartland, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, whatever, I need to find the extension, but I'm not trading Gartley here, however, there is a higher peak, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, which is a bad pattern, and this one is valid for me, uh, that's how I backtested it, so I have to create a pattern, so that, that I get ready, so maybe we get the opportunity to trade this pattern today i don't know but i will be ready for it if it happens 88.6 it's here i'm hoping we do get and hoping it's gonna get be a winner but we you never know we never know 88.6 let's see ah uh, sorry 88.6 it's right there I'll have to adjust this maybe when I when when the price comes up but yeah this is what I see here in this pair uh, we will see what's gonna happen as the uh, it's it ah, set price alert boom but we're gonna change it and drag it to this point right there so that I'm sure that I can react when the price hits here this price point, then I'll, I will uh, have time to put my pending orders if I don't react before. Okay, I'm gonna, or probably when I get into the office in like uh, 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the charts again, and then I'm gonna put the pending orders. Uh, but it needs to go overboard over soul. Currently, uh, it is, but yeah, you never know. We never know. I'll, I'll definitely put it when I get to the office if this candle closes overboard and. Uh, then I'll check out every hour is the next candle is the next candle is the next candle and I adjust it. Okay, let's move to Aussie USD. Aussie USD we have, in my opinion, potential two trades. We have a Gartley here because we have X to A, A to B, Gartley. I'm not. I'm trading without additional filters. Uh, B to C, C to D. But uh, do we get a C to D? Just let's see this. Let's see this here. Price needs to push a little bit higher to touch the 61% retracement from uh, A to B to be, have a valid B to C. If that happens, then we, I might have a Gartley. The bad pattern that I was thinking I should not trade bats here, so there is nothing besides this Gartley for me. Euro dollar breached this, made a pullback into the kill zone. This is very nice. Made a pullback into the kill zone, I believe, here. Made a lower, low, lower close candle, retested a low made it made a new low make it's making a pullback and i'm my thinking is it will come all the way to this point 
to this price point we will see eventually there are no patterns here that i can trade at least for now so i'll be staying away from euro dollar pound dollar Poof, nothing here that i can that i can see that could bring me a trade today we will see how market we will develop i'm looking at this x point probably maybe something like this can happen but for now nothing and pound yen very similar to pound dollar looking at this x point now waiting for something to happen or maybe this x point and let's see how far away did market come it okay so we might have something in here x to a a to what b b to c c to d we will see what market will do uh in today's mark in, in today so on the valentine's day if something do happen i will I will make sure to engage, get involved by, by my rules, and then in my afternoon, I will definitely record it. So, thank you for watching this on this Valentine's Day. Uh, in a few, in few minutes, in a few seconds, actually, we will start with the afternoon session because I'm going to end this video, and as it continues, I will just start recording my afternoon session when I get back home from the office. Thank you. If you like the content, if you think this is very good, make sure to click that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and spread the word, guys. If more and more people, if more and more people watch it, more and more people can benefit and see what the real trading is all about. Thanks. Speak soon. Bye bye. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my uh, second busiest session since I gone live. So, and a lot of things have happened today and which I want to show you how, again, it, this session will just improve the power of backtesting that, I'll be, that I've been preaching for quite a while right now. So, I got involved, obviously, I'm going to give you a spoiler alert, just into a one trade right now and I was not aware of it at all. <laughs> I just got home. I was taking look, taking a look at the pound yen, the trade I didn't get involved because of my rules. Uh, then the uh, Aussie CAD, the trade I didn't get involved because of my rules. The USD CAD trade that I didn't get involved because of my rules. And uh, <laughs> and I was quite happy about it because uh, once again, even though I did not trade and even though I did not make winners, uh, the trades that I didn't took uh, are actually rallying to my would be. Uh, stop losses so let's start from the beginning and then we will wrap up and go over everything so this is a, a usd cad bat that i was checking out and basically the rules on this bat are uh that i can trade it you know from from a, my normal time period until 5 p.m uh, gmt time and however i need to have overbought and oversold candle based on the rsi parameter 70 and 30 and if you take a look at this candle prior to my entry candle uh, this uh, this uh, parameters needs to be met, and if we take a look at the RSI to that on that candle was 69, so that's below the 70, so it's not overbought, and I had to close my pending orders, so, and then the next candle activated it, and if I were to trade it right now, actually, it would be hitting my stop loss. Yeah, so one stop loss avoided. That's a plus for me. By the way, click the like button, click that subscribe button, smash that share button and a bell button. Now let's move forward. Aussie Cat, I'm I need bad to go overbought, oversold as well. This candle right there. Let's check it out. 60, 62. Again, what would happen? Would hit my stop loss. 113. There we go. Aussie USD. I was not even aware that I'm in this trade. I just got home. It actually triggered me when um, I was in my car driving to uh, driving home. This is actually a Gartley pattern, so I have no additional filters. Okay, and uh, now let's see where are my profit targets on this. Okay, I gotta let's just see. There we go. My profit targets are right where they need to be because I over. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. So now I'm waiting for, you know, this price action to hit my profit target if that's going to happen. If not, I'll be absolutely fine with it because, you know what, I follow my rules. Uh, yeah, so we are in one trade that looks like it might win. It might not. We will definitely see. 
euro dollar there was nothing here for me today even though some people probably have a valid bat this candle here did not touch my 50 percent fib retracement if you zoom in you'll see on my on my broker i use this tool so you check out the high of a candle it's uh, 1.12950 and the 50 is 54 here so this is not a bad for me just skip it pound dollar there was nothing here for me today and the pound yen there was a bat however from a bat i can only trade from 5 in the morning until 1 p.m and candle that would activate me in the bat was 1 p.m closing i need to oh yeah that's the thing that you gotta understand so until noon 2 p.m so the candle close would be at 1 p.m gmt time okay not the candle open this candle shows the candle open at 1 p.m so i had to close it on this candle because this candle you see noon that's the starting time start time of a candle and uh and then the end time is 1 p.m this candle did not activate me if it would then i would be in this trade and I would take a loss obviously it it would have hit my stop loss and that's it that's that's everything there is to it so we avoided how many one two losses three losses altogether we have one invalid bad, bad pattern this is not for me and we are in one trade that might as well win it's a Gartley on aussie usd with that being said i just want to em emphasize on the back testing how important it is and i want to uh, tell you to hit that like button click that subscribe button and again thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you tomorrow morning bye bye